Welcome to Broken Bobby's Transformation Page. In 1990, I became involved with drugs and gangs. And over the next 16 years, I did a lot of time in the county jail system as well as the prison system. Eventually, I transformed my life and I became a productive member of society. These are my stories of how I did it and how you can as well. Let's get into today's video. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This one is the agreement to end hostilities and uh, what I was able to find on it. And uh, I'll give some explanation as to what I know about it. Shout out to Peter so Sobo for the question about the class action lawsuits. I think this is what I was referring to when you asked the question. It wasn't L.A. County. It was in the prison system, and it involved the big four prison gangs. So uh, this agreement to end hostilities came from the Pelican Bay Shoe, and it was, uh, you know, masterminded by the big four in the California system. So uh, before I get further into it, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash that like button, drop a comment. Share the video if you know somebody that may enjoy it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit all for uh, so when I drop a new video or when I go live, you'll be notified and you can jump on. Now, ex excuse my voice. Went to the doctor today and he said I don't have bronchitis, I have pneumonia. So I'm doing the best I can to keep pushing out content for you guys, but uh, it's a little difficult at the moment. So I'll do the best I can. And like I said, excuse my voice. Hopefully I'll be better soon. So let's get into this. So in the Pelican Bay Short Corridor, this is, now the shoe is a very large place in Pelican Bay. And it's a prison within the prison, basically. But in the Short Corridor, that's where they housed all the the heavy hitters, I guess you would say. You know, the, the guys that were in the big four prison gangs. And... Todd Ashker led the, you know, he did the paperwork and stuff to file a class action suit uh, against indeterminate shoes. Uh, shoe is the security housing unit. That's a the prison within the prison, basically. And uh, stick around to the end so I can tell you what's going on now. But, uh, okay, so these guys filed this suit... And basically, they weren't getting a whole lot of traction as far as, uh, you know, getting... Because they, they said it was cruel and unusual punishment to have indeterminate shoes. So, uh, these... The big four basically ordered hunger strikes out on the main lines. And inmates just stopped eating. Like, this went on for like 60 days. And some inmates actually passed... You know, they became unalived over this. They also uh, said they refused to perform laborious jobs during this period as well. So uh, I'm going to post some images here in regards to the agreement. You can pause the video and read if you would like. Uh, basically, it, it, it's going to tell you what the agreement was. And as you will see in these images, that, that you know there would be no hostilities between the four major groups, and you know as long as they weren't putting SNYs in the general population settings. So uh, let me tell you the difference between an indeterminate shoe and a determinate shoe. Now, California prison had this thing called a validation package. And if they thought you were connected with one of these big four groups, they would give you a point for certain things, tattoos, uh, who you hung around with, uh, things of that nature. And when you got to a certain amount of points, you would be validated. Once you were validated, you would be sent to the shoe and with no hopes of getting out. I mean, if you had an outdate where you were going to parole, you could parole from the shoe but you would not be on a mainline anymore once you were validated as part of one of these groups. 
Okay, as for a determinate shoe, what that is, think of it this way. You're on the streets, you commit a crime, you go to the, in front of the judge, and you get a sentence, and you do that sentence, and then you're released. It's kind of the same thing in prison. So say I'm on the yard, and I go stab somebody, or I get caught with a weapon or drugs or whatever it may be. So I'm going to go in front of a, a board and they're going to determine that, you know, I'm, I'm going to be sentenced to the shoe and maybe it might be 14 months, maybe it might be two years, whatever it may be, what, whatever the case may be. And on a determinate shoe, that means I'm going to go back there. I'm going to do whatever the sentence is. And once that sentence is up, then they'll release me to, they'll kick me out to a level four 180. And then after a certain amount of time, I can go to a level four 270. So, uh, you know, that went on. And some of these guys sat back there for 30 years in the shoe. And once you're back there, they cut off all your communication with the outside world and uh like it's just it's 23 and one lockdown basically and like it was just miserable pelican bay is up it's in crescent city up by the northern way up in northern california near the oregon border and it rains like 200 days a year up there so it's gloomy it's just not good you know like you get out to yard like once a week or something in, uh, like they had you in uh, standalone cages. Ultimately, it started with group yards, but there was a lot of violence involved with that, in Corcoran in particular. And so what they did was they put these dog cages out there. They call them the dog cages. They're standalone, uh, you know, where they send you out there, they lock you in the cage, and you have no contact with anybody. So... Eventually, the courts seen that it was cruel and unusual punishment for these individuals to be locked away back there forever. And they started letting these big four groups out onto the mainline uh, prison yards in California. And, you know, to, uh, you know, that it was an agreement to end hostilities. And that's exactly what happened between the groups. There were no no large scale issues between the big four, and you know it, it didn't completely stop the violence. There's still a lot of violence within the groups themselves, you know, removing people or what it, whatever they needed to do based on what was going on. But you know, uh, occasionally there'd be a skirmish between groups, but it, it, it would get quelled real quick and. It wouldn't linger on. When I was doing time, if there was a riot on the yard with another group faction, sometimes we would be locked down for months, if not years, and you'd be stuck in the cell. And, you know, once the agreement to end hostilities came out and everybody hit, all these big guys hit the main line, all of that stuff stopped. So, uh, Basically, CDCR is not holding up their end of the the deal with this. And what they've been doing is their their objective is to make all yards non-designated yards. And this is something that it seems as though the big four don't agree with. You know, uh, I'm going to put a picture up now. This is from uh, the war nerd, who's Hector Bravo, basically, the prison guard. Uh, he did a video on... They released some bulldogs onto the yard at Corcoran Sat F. And you can go over to uh, the War Nerds page and you can see the video on that. Uh, I just clicked a screenshot to show you the image. And the guys in orange or red, whatever they're wearing, those are the bulldogs. And as you can see on either end of the photo, there's a couple of them that are just laid out. And... This is no disrespect to the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are about the business, but uh, according to Hector, the the North and the South jumped on these guys, and it just wasn't, uh, you know, I mean, they're not going to program together. And this is what CDCR wants. They want the violence on the yards. Uh, they want to be able to say that the agreement to end hostilities 
didn't work. But it is working amongst the big four like they said it would. So, um, you know, the TDCR wants all the yards to be non-designated and they've been doing this where they're trying to integrate SNYs and GPs. SNYs being sensitive need yard inmates. These are guys that dropped out of the gangs or got removed and sent over to that side. It's pr protective custody, basically, is the uh, general idea. GP is general population. These guys are all guys that are considered to be in good standing with the big four. So uh, Cali wants all the yards to be non-designated. The big four don't want that. And, you know, this sort of violence is going to continue. And it's because CDCR don't want the end of all hostilities agreement to work. So that's my take on this. Um, you know, I hope everybody's having a good day. And, uh, you know, family, fitness, and freedom are what helped me to not have to worry about being in these types of situations anymore. And they can help you as well. Don't look at the mountain. Just start climbing.